clinical practice guidelines for epidermolysis bullosa laboratory diagnosis. Epidermolysis bullosa, shortly EB, is a group of rare inherited disorders characterized by skin fragility and blistering. EB comprises four main types and more than 30 subtypes. The diagnosis of EB is based on clinical manifestations, mode of inheritance, level of skin cleavage, and the genetic defect. A group of experts from countries all over the world developed guidelines for EB laboratory diagnosis on behalf of DEBRA International and Austria. The users of this guideline are dermatologists, neonatologists, pediatricians, nurses, laboratory doctors and technicians, and people with EB and their families. More than 1,400 publications were identified in public databases. Of them, 64 were appraised and their quality rated according to established methodologies. Based on this, the recommendations are the following. If EB is suspected, laboratory diagnosis should always be initiated after informed consent. Ideally, both genetic DNA testing and analysis of a skin biopsy by immunofluorescence mapping should be performed to allow complete characterization of the EB type. However, this is not always possible. Prioritization can shorten the time to diagnosis and save resources. For example, in newborn, analysis of a skin biopsy should be the first diagnostic step since it delivers results within a few days. Genetic testing should always be performed in parallel. If the type of EB can be clinically recognized or if the disease severity is only mild, then Genetic testing by next generation sequencing is recommended. If the pathogenic variant is identified in the affected person, parents and other family members should be tested in order to confirm the result and enable genetic counseling. If no genetic defect is found in EB-associated genes, then research methods have to be employed or the diagnosis must be reconsidered. Precise diagnosis of EB enables prognostication of disease severity and management of every case. It allows genetic counseling and prenatal diagnosis and inclusion of clinical and therapy trials.